Okay, recording in progress, and I'm not in my classroom. I am at home. I don't have my fancy camera. I'm not even wearing a collared shirt. This is just the undershirt I had on today, and I'm laying sitting on the floor in, my, in front of my couch. No internet at the school today, and I don't want to fall behind another day on video. So earlier I said I'd be wearing the same shirt. I'm not. I'm wearing the undershirt that was under it. That shirt that you saw is in the wash. Anyways, can we get to the video? Here we go. <clears throat> what did I teach today? All right, we're talking grade nine English. So the note on the board essentially said to read, you have to connect with what you read. So I let off. Uh, yesterday, I told you that I played a music video for them. Well, today I put up the lyrics. And the song I used was Hot Shell Rays Tonight Tonight which came out when they were about four years old. However, I find the song works better than any other for doing what I needed to do. And I could do, do the video in about two minutes and I could do the lyric study in two minutes. <coughs> All right, so here's what I did. I put up the lyrics and uh, first it says, it's been a really, really messed up week. And I point out that as a reader, some of you might say, oh, heck yeah, it's been a terrible week. Or you might think to yourself, hey, I'm having a good week. But a reader responds, seven days of torture, seven days of bitter. Well, you might think to yourself, salt's bitter. Now, these are very random, but it sets up my weekly assignment that I give them on every single Tuesday, and they got to turn back in on Friday. I give them an article a week. What I want them to do is essentially show their reading work. I want them to make comments on it. Uh, I got it from a uh, reading book that sadly, I can't think of its name right now. Oops, how's that for preparation? I don't even know. Uh, anyways, <laughs> that's how I started the class. Uh, I reviewed the habit of coming in get with your notebook. And I said, you just wrote this down, here's why. I went over the song. Uh, new vocab word today was articulate because I want my students to be articulate. And then now the meat of the lesson. One of my students actually asked today, are we gonna start reading yet? And I said, yes, in about two minutes. So I put up some song lyrics. I use song lyrics because in three minutes I could cover a concept that if I gave them a short story, it could take all day. So the first couple of days I use poems and short stories or <laughs> poems and usually song lyrics because they're easiest. So the first song I did, four stanzas. <coughs> The opening stanza, or boo boo, I gave him the title and said, what do you think the story's about? Go. I'm not telling you the song I use because some of you will judge as if anyone watches these videos. But let's pretend. Let's pretend there's like four of you watching these videos someday. Uh, you might say, that's not very appropriate. Well, that's what I do. Uh, so the song is a harmless title. And so the students say, well, it's about a kid who's waiting for Christmas. It's about this. Okay. Then they hear the first stanza and it's kind of weird. Any of you changing your mind? So you can see most of the students are just, because unlike most teachers, my students don't sit there like this the whole time. They're regular people. I don't know. I don't have the superstars that apparently some people do. Matters regular people, good people, or regular people. So <clears throat> then we did the next stanza and it got dark. Okay. Third stanza. I actually move up to the front of the room so I could see this happen because I show them the lyrics one line at a time. Because again, I'm forcing the trick of teaching them to anticipate text, to ask themselves what happens next. It's a reading trick to tell their brain, I better pay attention to this. So when the third stanza comes up, I've moved up to the front. And I actually see this. And there's a awkward, like a, because it's a dark zone. <laughs> then the fourth stanza, it's a, but I point out to them that if they weren't anticipating, what would happen is a lot of them would kind of do this. They wouldn't really be paying attention. And then even when the horrible thing came up and their buddy was like, hey, Guido, look up there. He'd be like, oh, that's dark. All right, so 
and it wouldn't have the same connection. But because I kind of forced them into, okay, what happens next? What happens next? Conway, just what happens next? I do get that third stanza look of, and there's genuine shock, genuine. Like, I know people like to say, oh, yeah, the students were like freaking out. No, they weren't. But every class, 20 people in each class, I had five or six students go. And when I see the hand go up, I'm just like, yes! I'm happy about such things. Okay, so we went through it, and what did I teach them? Anticipation. I need my students to learn that when you see a title, you guess what's going to happen next in your reading. It doesn't matter what the subject is. Uh, if you see a book called The Outsiders, okay, why are they outside? Because they got kicked out of their house? Okay, fine. But then your brain is told, hey, pay attention to find out if you're right or not. You're hardly ever going to be right, but your brain is challenged. That's a good thing. Awesome. All right. So that was grade nine English today. In my junior class today, I covered other stuff. Uh, in my senior class, I covered other stuff. But uh, right now I'm only doing grade nine because otherwise I'm making like, no like, there's no metaphor being used here, no simile, no comparison. Then I'd be making twice as many videos, if not three times as many or four times. Wow, maybe even five times for each of my classes. I have a lot of preps. So, all right. Uh, on behalf of the four animals that are here, but you don't see any of them. You see a pair of pants. Uh, those are my Friday jeans. I had to pull them out, make sure they fit. God, God 